These pictures show some of the damage uh, to buildings in Bologna and surrounding areas. The quake struck just after 4 a.m., about 35 kilometers north northwest of Bologna, a relatively shallow depth of just six miles, 10 kilometers, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, we are hearing reports of damaged buildings. Well, there you can see the pictures speak for themselves. A lot of debris on the floor. Three people, at least three people, are reported to have died in the quake. The damage does look extensive, doesn't it? Uh, thousands of people fled into the streets when the quake struck. Uh, correspondent in Rome, Alan Johnson, told me earlier that uh, one of the dead is an overnight factory worker and emergency services are heading towards the scene. They're highly trained and prepared for this across Italy, which is often struck by earthquakes. This was particularly powerful, though, and there are fears that more people could be trapped under the rubble. As I say, these pictures just into BBC News uh, Bologna is a historical town and uh, there'll be a lot of damage uh, to very important uh, buildings uh, and you can see a lot of the debris there uh, on the walkways uh, suggesting just how powerful this uh, quake uh, is. Uh, a lot of tourists uh, go to Bologna as well. It's a very popular tourist destination for its historical buildings. And uh, you can see that there's been some extensive damage there, uh, done there, cracks uh, in the walls and uh, rubble on the floor. These pictures just in, uh, we will be keeping you updated on the situation there. Uh, our correspondent, Alice Johnson, said emergency services are heading to Bologna uh, to try and clear the rubble and uh, try and rescue anybody that uh, may need rescuing from the, uh, the rubble.